In this video, we will get straight into downloading, installing and setting up Blender on your own machine so that you can start creating awesome 3D graphics in no time. First, go to blender.org. Alright, now that we're on blender.org, go ahead and press download Blender. The version that I have here could be different to the one that you have on your own screen. That's purely because at the time of recording, this was the version of Blender. Uh, you should expect to have a higher version of this, which is obviously better because the newer versions would obviously have a lot more features than the one we have here, than the one I have on my screen here. So go ahead and press download Blender and follow the prompts. If you have a Windows computer, I suggest using the .msi installer that will automatically install Blender on your computer. If you have Mac, uh, you obviously click that one. And if you have a Linux, you click on that one and obviously you choose the version. If your computer is a 32-bit computer, um, download any one of these mirrors. If it's a 64-bit computer, download any one of these mirrors. Um, since I have a Windows, I can go ahead and use the um, uh, 64 bit. I think my computer is set up for 64 bit. And after a while, Bender will start downloading. So while that downloads, I will pause the video and we'll come back. So once you click the installer, you'll see this Blender setup wizard. Just go ahead and go next and just use a default. Accept the terms and conditions. Uh, obviously, it's always better to read that. But since I mean, I've been using Blender for a while, I'm quite happy with the terms and conditions there. So I'm just gonna go ahead. And, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press next. Um, okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, it's just put a default location there. You can choose your own default location wherever you want. And finally, I'm just gonna press install. All right. So after a few minutes, the installation completed, and I can just go ahead and press finish to exit the setup stage. So now, when I run Blender, it should pretty much be available. And you'll know that you have the latest version of Blender available and running when you can see the version that you clicked from the website. So in my case, it was 2.788. So that's pretty much it. We've successfully downloaded and installed Blender on our computer. Um, it's a very straightforward process. All I had to do was click on the website, download, select an installer, and, and once it's installed, wizard runs, I pretty much let it do its own thing, and done. So that's it, a pretty straightforward video. I hope this video has helped you, and I hope to see you in the next video when we start actually doing stuff with Blender. See you then, and of course, keep blending.